Hi, I'm Lindsay from the Suwannee River Regional Library, and I'm going to be reading Bear Feels Scared by Karma Wilson. In the deep, dark woods by the Strawberry Vale, a big bear lumbers down a small, crooked trail. Bear's tummy growls as he looks for a snack, but it's cold, 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 so Bear turns back. He is not home yet when the sun starts to set and the bear feels scared. Bear shakes and he shivers as a storm starts to howl. Bear mutters, what is that? Are there spooks on the prowl? The path gets dimmer and the sky grows gray. Bear looks to and fro, but he can't find his way. He huddles by a tree and he wails, poor me. And the bear feels scared. Meanwhile, back in the warm, cozy lair, friends start to worry for their poor lost bear. It is late, Mouse squeaks, and our bear doesn't roam. There's a storm, cries Hare. Shouldn't bear be home? Wren tweets from his perch. They must all go search. What if Bear feels scared? The friends bundle up and begin to prepare. They form a search party for their lost friend Bear. But the bear is all alone and he sheds big tears. There's a noise in the forest and he feels big fears. Bear trembles in the wind how he longs for a friend, and the bear feels scared. Badger lights a lamp, and he shouts, Let's go! All the birds search high, while the rest search low. With a flounce and a flutter, they set off together. They trudge down the trail through wild, wet weather. They call, Ho, bear! Are you there? Are you there? And the bear feels scared. But he perks up his ears. Is it Mole calling out? And is that Hare's voice? Does Bear hear him shout? Wren, Owl, and Raven all squawk from the sky. It is Bear! He is there! And they sigh big sighs. By a tree waits Bear, ten feet from his lair, and the bear looks scared. With a flap and a flurry, all the friends gather near. They give him bear hugs. They calm his bear fears. Later in the night, all clustered in a heap, the bear spins stories while his friends fall asleep. Cuddled up tight, they snore through the night, and the bear feels safe. Thank you for joining us for this story presented by Swanee River Regional Library. Check out our website for more videos and other activities.